Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It's Saturday, and uh, normally I guess uh, this Saturday I should be at the Monterey Car Week, but uh, I'm here at South OC Cars and Coffee because while there's a lot of action happening at Monterey Car Week, the real action is happening here in South Orange County. So, Check it out. Cars? Yeah, I'm covered now. Yeah, I should know. Yeah, look at that. Lexus, Mustang, Corvette, Lamborghini, more Lamborghini. Yeah, the show starts at 9 o'clock, goes to 11. And right now we're about, I guess, 10 minutes to opening. So the car's just coming in now and it's a, it's a supercar traffic jam. Yeah. All right, let's start off right here at Supercar Row. We have the Camaro belong to Simon. He's the founder of this uh, show. And next to that, we have a McLaren six, uh, 650. Yep, 650. And a couple of spots reserved here for something special that's coming. And oh, check out this uh, Rolls Royce. Whoa. Yeah, that's a big black two-door. Bentley from Cher. They see Jay's Ford GT and Austin Martin Vantage and ah, this is the McLaren GT so this is the uh, the McLaren that you can take drive every day take on a road trip yeah so it has a uh, quite a bit of boot space too apparently enough for a couple of golf bags and it's very well lined too wow quite nice yeah. Alright. And Austin Martin, check out the manual. Nice. Yeah, that Audi's exhaust in front of me looks interesting. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. And Guy Auto Convertible. Ferrari 360. Ferrari F430. McLaren 570. McLaren 720S with a Go wheels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, another Rolls Royce coupe with, man, those are huge wheels. Oh, my words. What's the size of these wheels? Let's see. Ah, there. Yeah. 24s. 24 inch wheels. You know, you expect to see it in, in a big SUV, but it actually looks okay on a Rolls Royce. Stays. Ferrari, oh. McLaren 600, hey, Magnum PI's Ferrari, remember that show? 488. Oh, here's a nice yellow F12 with nice wheels too. Acura NSX, oh yeah, Acura just unveiled their final NSX at Monterey Call Week. Uh, only 350 being made and 300 of them are coming to the United States. GTC, YF12, and, and check out the exhaust on this R8. Yeah, Lamborghini style. That's from Shippy Racing, so probably turbo charge too. GT3 RS, another Mercedes, and there's another the Rolls Royce. No more Audi R8 and the Shippy Racing one. Nice purple color too. Uh, like I said, I, I'm pretty. I bet you it's a turbo motor. And I went to. Oh yeah, there you go. He just popped the hood for me. So you can see the uh, the Shippy Racing intercoolers right there. It's probably making over a thousand horsepower. And believe it or not, it actually sounds like a normal Audi. <laughs> oh, one more look at that exhaust. <laughs> looks, like a pair of, looks like a pair of rocket booster off the back. So cool. This Lamborghini must have solid mode or something. This here is a Renegade 911. Yeah, it's a Porsche 911. 
Power Proportion 911 with a manual shifter and it has something really really cool instead of the weak ass flat 6 this one's got a real motor an LS yeah it's a perfect marriage American muscle and German engineering <laughs> and that looks quite cool look at this wow it's it's gonna be a hot day Oh, I can feel it. Wow. Wow, check this out. That is awesome. That is totally awesome. Look at that. Uh-huh, yeah. Can't complain about that. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Look at that right there. All right, look at the interior. The bus driver steering wheel. I look at the instrument panel. Oh my god. This is awesome. The the park bench seats. Yeah, that was the original. Yeah, that's the original park bench seat. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how you get into the back seat, but uh, is there another side door? Front seat, folds down. Front seat folds down yes. and then you jump over. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. But no, the steering wheel used to go through the firewall, but when I put a different motor in it, the, the master cylinder, it just didn't work. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that's how you keep the thing from falling down. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. <laughs> Yeah, hey, mechanical yeah. engineering right there. See, this is this is built for a guy that's five ten. See, yeah. so when you go under it, this could. Yeah, be I would. I would hit that exactly. <laughs> yes, <you would. laughs> cool, cool. Uh, this is just a masterpiece. I mean, sliding windows. I got in the, the steering wheel. I can't. I can't go with the steering wheel and check out the rear view mirrors. All right. One more look at this thing here. Yeah, this will be my pick for call of the week. It has a lot of money in it. Yep, if I had an engine disc good looking, I wouldn't have a hood either. Hmm, 427 Corvette, supercharged Corvette, more Corvette, C8 Corvette, Z06 Corvette, Stingray, Rubicon. This is a Volkswagen thing and it looks like it was caught in a fire. Yes. Yes, it was burnt out in a fire and it's been restored. Yeah, that's what fire does to a paint. And here's some of the original pieces. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. It actually, you know, it actually looks better than the original. For all you hot rod fans, check this out. I mean, giant engine with humongous supercharger, really small fuel tank, enough for only one quarter mile pass. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, a shifter that you basically have to bend down to get and trunk bench seat yes remember happy days yeah that's those are so cool yep nobody's towing that thing DeLorean <laughs> yeah check out the finish on that stainless steel no paint stainless steel that's it like that oh, oh of course and every DeLorean must have a flux capacitor big v10 in a dodge viper has a big motor with a big wing and not to be outdone we have the track armor z06 with an even bigger wing yes if you could believe that This will give you an idea how big Porsche has gotten over the generation. Here we have a, a 911, a vintage 911. 
and they were a small sports car but if you look at 91 today they're actually pretty big compared to this because for example this is a 911 and here we have a 718 and it's and it's practically as big as the old 911 actually and it's actually bigger it looks even bigger and then we have Porsche's biggest car the, the Panamera GTS and well what a difference <laughs> oh check this out it's the official pace car of the Indy 500 for 1989. It was a Pontiac Trans Am. And what was special with this Pontiac Trans Am is that this Trans Am had a motor from the Buick Grand National. So instead of the normal V8, uh, it had a turbocharged V6. Yeah, so you can see the turbo, you can see the intercooler, air intake. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that steering wheel with the ten thousand buttons. Ten thousand miles on it? <laughs> no, I mean I'm talking about the steering wheel with the buttons. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that, that was interesting. As I was filming, I got a phone call, so I had to uh, stop filming. <laughs> First time it happened. I actually expect it's quite unusual. I expect that, you know, it would have happened a lot sooner, but first time. Someone actually called me while I was filming. Go a little bit that way. Hey. Go forward. Yeah, come, come that way so you have a roof to open the door. Uh, perfect. Come like that. I'm not sure how I feel about having people help me back up in the convertible. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna end our coverage with this awesome Cadillac CTS. I mean, oh, look at that. It's check out that supercharged motor. Yeah, I mean, this thing is all motor. <laughs> I mean, it barely fits in the engine bay. It's so big. <laughs> I mean, it. It takes out so much, look at that, the hood needs a, needs a bump to clear the supercharger. And radar detector, you need it. Here's his Instagram, oh this is YouTube, follow him. Uh, carbon fiber trunk lid, and check out that exhaust. Right out the back, two big pipes. This is definitely not your daddy's Cadillac. Some BMWs here. And there's the rest of the lot. Not as busy as last week. But then again, it's also Monterey Car Week. So a lot of people at Monterey and Pebble Beach checking out the cars over there. All right, so this is South OC Cars and Coffee. It happens every Saturday, unlike Monterey Car Week, where it only happens once a year. Every Saturday from 9 to 11. Uh, it's here at the San Clemente Outlet, so if you're in the area, South Orange County, come check it out. It's a lot of fun. Great show. John Chow from Thank you very much for watching. If you like that, please give me a thumbs up, like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.